Miss Stampers is Gigi with Stamp Fanatics, and I have this really cute thank you card for you. It says, thank you very much with cute little strawberries. And that comes in our Witticism stamp set. Now this is gonna retire, so try to catch it on the retired list right now, and hopefully it hasn't sold out yet. Um, we're gonna start, and it has, um, let me just tell you about it a little bit. It has Relax and Chinchilla Out, and Talk About Awesome, Welcome Little One, birthday, looking sharp, and then the thank you. And I'm gonna show you a few other cards at the end of this video, so stay tuned. I'm gonna show you a lot more ideas. Okay, so we're gonna start with a piece of Whisper White, and this is our thick card stock. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a good crease. You'll get all the dimensions and everything when you sign up for my newsletter. I will send you an email with all of the instructions for this card and all the ones that I'm gonna show you at the end of the video. So you're really gonna get a lot. Okay, we have a piece of Melon Mambo, and I'm just going to bring in a little piece of paper so I can stamp. I'm going to take the strawberry stamp, but as you can see, it says, thank you very much, and I don't want all that writing. I just want the strawberry for now, because I'm going to make a background on my card of just the strawberries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stamp and Write marker, and this is the basic black. I'm going to use the brush side, and I'm just going to take it and glide it along the image and just color just the strawberry. So I don't want to stamp it on a pad because I really don't want the whole stamp. I just want this portion. And I'm going to stamp here and then I'm going to ink it up. I'm not even going to clean it in between because it'll stay inked up pretty good. But I'm just going to give it a new layer every time. Uh, let's see, let's do it this way. And we're just gonna do a few all around the background to make our card. And this is something you can do with any stamp. And I'm also gonna stamp off a little bit. That's why I got my background paper there because um, it just makes the card look a little better when you don't have it all symmetrical and it goes off the edge of the card. It just looks better. Okay, let's just do a few more. I think we're good. Okay, now I have a piece of two by four, and this is from Peaceful Moments, uh, Peaceful Poppies, I'm sorry. We're gonna use this nice lime green side, and I can see I could use one more stamp, so let's just go ahead and ink it up again, because I don't want a big gap. Okay, now let me see. Yeah, right about there. That'll make that kind of on the side. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna close up this marker so it doesn't dry out. And I'm going to take some of my liquid glue and I'm just going to add it to the back of the paper just a little bit. And I'm gonna bring in my silicone mat because I don't want the glue to get on anything on my surface so that I have other things stick later. So there's that. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of snail and just run a little bit on the back. And I'm gonna take our Granny Apple Green Ribbon. And I believe, I'm not sure if this is retiring. We might wanna check. Just cut a piece and then I'm just putting it right into that snail I put on the back. And then we're gonna add it to our card base. So I'm gonna take some glue again and I'm just gonna go right over the ribbon and everything and add that to my card base. There, I'm gonna have it where I want it. I'm gonna go ahead and press it down. I'll shift that over a little bit. It's a good part about glue is you can still move it. There we are, get the glue off my fingers. Okay, now we're gonna take the full stamp this time and I'm gonna use my black memento ink and we're gonna stamp the whole thing. And I'm gonna take my two inch circle, circle punch and punch that out. And then I'm gonna take my two and a quarter inch circle punch 
and I'm just gonna punch out a bigger circle. And this one will be plain. And then I have my starburst punch and I am going to punch out a piece of the granny apple green because it'll match my ribbon. And the first thing I wanna do is color this. So I'm going to use my dark poppy parade. I'm gonna bring this in again because it bleeds a little underneath. And I'm gonna just color in my strawberry. Now, we do have a new catalog starting in June. So a lot of these stamps are going on our retiring list. And what that means is they'll be there until they run out. Once they run out, they're gone because we're gonna be getting new stamps that'll be coming out. And sad to say, this is one of the sets that'll be going away. I really love it, I've used it a lot. And you're gonna see when I show you all the different cards that I made. Okay, this is our Granny Apple Green Blend. And these are alcohol blends. So they dry very quickly. And so is the Poppy Parade. And so now we're just gonna take that and I'm gonna bring my silicone mat back in. I'm gonna go ahead, just use a little bit of snail and put that on our starburst piece and then add that onto our whisper white. So we have a nice little background like that, okay? And I'm gonna shift it over a little bit because I wanna have room for a knot. So I'm going to put this on the top and the bottom so I can have my ribbon go through the middle. And I'm just gonna put it right about there. And then I'm gonna take my ribbon and I'm just gonna thread it through and just tie one knot like that, bring it in tight, and then I'm just gonna trim it at an angle. And the same thing here. Okay, now I thought it would look cute with just a couple more things. So now I'm gonna bring in these pearls that I have colored with my dark basic black marker. And I'm just gonna lift them up and add them to my card. Cause I thought it'd be cute to have like a little um, seed look from like the strawberries. Let's put that back up there. And by coloring them with the blend marker, it's an alcohol base, so they do dry pretty quickly. And I think I'm just gonna add one down here. There we go, whoops. Stuck on me and not the paper. There we go. Okay, so that's our card. Isn't it cute? And then the, the next ones I wanna show you are some other ones that I've made from the set. And we have a couple welcome little ones for babies. I did a blue and a, and a pink. You did it for our graduates that you can send out and send out a gift card or something that they can use when this quarantine is over. Uh, relax and chinchilla out, it's your retirement. Maybe there are some teachers or people that are retiring. And then of course this one too. So if you sign up, go to stampfanatics.com. All you have to do is sign up for my newsletter and I will be happy to give you all of the instructions and supply lists to make all of those cards. So again, I use the witticism and thanks and have a great day.